Hey, what's happening, guys? It is a boring Tuesday afternoon here in Ohio, so looking for something to do to make a video. And I went down the basement, and I looked around at all my stuff, and I remember, oh yeah, I've got that old Ortor, Ortor, Ortor something, laser engraver. It was fun to play with for a while, but yeah, just not really my style. Hey, let's yank the uh, the laser head off of it and have some fun with it. So it just unscrews basically. And what you see here, we have uh, the control module up here with this cable. It's a four wire cable. Red and black are your power connections. Green is ground and white is your VCC, I'm sorry, uh, PWM. It's list, listed as PWM. Well, let's just call it an enable pin for us today. So the specs on this, I don't know if you can read it or not. Let's see, zoom in. So maximum into the module, which is what we're going to be feeding power into, is 24 volts at 2 amps. Well, we're not going to start off that high. We're going to start off... We'll start off with what is what do we got here? How about six volts at uh, 300 milliamps? I'm going to sit it here, and you see I have uh, laser goggles here, and right down by my feet here is a fire extinguisher. Uh, and then over here is our target. So, get that out of there. So we put that right about there like that. And we'll hook up our connections. Hook up the ground. Negative rail. Then the white and the red, I'm going to connect together. Like I said, they're going to be our enable. Move that out of the way. All right, goggles down. This is 6 volts at 300 milliamps. Power on. You can see the laser spot is quite large. It is supposed to be 50 millimeters away. Oh, look at that. When I got in close, even at 6 volts, we're getting some burning. All right, laser off. Wow, that's impressive. All right. Let's take it up. Let's go nine volts. Not ten, nine. Thank you. And we'll go half an amp. That sound good? I'll get you, get you a different view here. All right, goggles on. Power on. Power off. Yeah. Looks about the same. Can't really see much of anything. But let's put it at a closer focal length and try our experiment again. Get this in position here. on moving close I'm gonna try and draw a line power off so 
So that's pretty good for nine volts at half an amp. And I'm pretty sure it's limiting on current, right? Yeah, limiting on current. All right, let's stay at nine volts. But we'll up the current. Three quarters of an amp. And we'll see what happens. All right. Glasses down. Laser on. Move in close. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. Let's quit messing around. Take out the 12 volts and one amp. Oh, yeah, that's going to be some power. All right, flip the target over so we get a fresh target. Glasses on power on and that is drawing four and a half watts all right we'll move into our distance power off yeah I mean it's it's engraving it this is about I don't know a little over a quarter inch okay full power Ooh. when you see us go up to 11 Two amps, full power. All right, glasses on. We're gonna start from far away. Power on. Oh, fan on too. You hear that? And that is uh, twenty watts. All right, let's see what we can do. I wish I had a better way to do this so I wasn't blocking your view. And power off. Smells like a campfire up in here. But is it cutting? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cutting. Wow. Look at that. You want to focus? Yeah. I know you probably can't really tell. How deep are we? Tip a razor blade deep out, I don't know, millimeter. <laughs> All right, I am going to power up that power supply before something bad happens. Um, needless to say, don't try this at home. Well, now what I need is an idea. What could we make? 
What could we possibly make with this laser? If you have an idea, I'd love to hear it. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.